we're going to do a quick recap of the area and perimeter of a rectangle and a square. So let's start with the good old rectangle and let's say we're given a rectangle that's got a length of five centimeters and a breadth of two centimeters and we get asked to figure out what the perimeter is equal to. Now remember perimeter is a very simple idea that with the perimeter all you're doing is you're saying if I walked all the way around the edge of the shape how far will I have walked and so for the perimeter I need to see I first go five centimeters and then I come down here two centimeters and then I go along here and we know that this side will also be five centimeters and then we go up our last bit here and that'll be two centimeters and so we get our total five and five is ten and two and two is four so our total is 14 centimeters for the perimeter of that rectangle area area is just how much sort of space does it cover over here and we work that out for a rectangle by saying the area is the length multiplied by the breadth so we have five centimeters multiplied by two centimeters and we get here ten centimeters squared note we have the square units for area Okay, but sometimes the way that they like to ask the questions is a little bit trickier. So let's have a look at a whole new question. And imagine that what they've said to you is you're given an, a rectangle that has a length that is six centimeters. And then they tell you that the perimeter of that rectangle is 20 centimeters. And they ask you to work out what is the area of that rectangle now you know to work out the area of the net rectangle you need to calculate length multiplied by breadth now working out length multiplied by breadth is easy except at the moment we don't have the breadth so what we're missing is what is the breadth here but we do know that if we go six plus the breadth plus six plus another breadth we get an answer of 20. So we can say we know if we go 6 plus the breadth plus 6 plus another breadth, we get the answer of 20. In other words, 12 plus 2 breadths is 20. So the 2 breadths are equal to 20 minus 12, which means the 2 breadths are equal to 8. So the breadth is 4. And once we have that, we get area is equal to 6 multiplied by 4 and we get 24 centimeters squared for the area. Okay, let's do another little bit on the square. We'll do this one very quickly because the ideas are the same. So imagine you're given a square which has a side of 2 centimeters and you're asked to calculate the perimeter. Well, that's very easy because you know that in a square all the sides are exactly the same length and so your perimeter is going to be four lots of two centimeters. Two plus two plus two plus two. And so that's going to give you eight centimeters. Your area, just like your um, rectangle, you calculate it by saying this multiplied by this. In other words, it's two multiplied by two. And you get your answer of four centimeters squared. Okay, but we can also do one of the ones where they give it to you in a slightly disguised way. So imagine now the question instead is you're given a square and the area of your square is 25 centimeters squared and they want you to figure out what the perimeter is equal to. Pause the video quickly and see if you can do that. Okay, hopefully you easily saw that what you, when you're working out the area of a square, you're just saying the side of the square multiplied by the other side of the square, right? Which are the same number. And in this case, the answer gives you 25. Well, what times what gives you 25? It's pretty obvious. It's 5. 
So your side of your square is 5. And so what will your perimeter be? It'll be 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 as you go around the square. In other words, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 lots of 5. And so it's 4 lots of 5 centimeters. So it's going to be 20 centimeters for your perimeter. What's more interesting to work with are shapes like these, which are not just plain rectangles or squares, but they're made up out of rectangles and squares. So let's work out the perimeter and area of this. Let's start with perimeter because that's always easy. All you have to do to work out the perimeter is to go this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. The only difficulty is they haven't told us how long this piece is and they haven't told us how long this piece is. But that's not too difficult to work out because if we know that this piece here is 12, then we know that this plus this must also be 12 because you can see that this piece here goes from there to there as 12 and so from the bottom to the top here must also be 12. So what will this A be equal to? It's fairly easy to see that this must be equal to 10 because 10 plus 2 gives you 12. Okay, pause the video now and you figure out how long B is. Okay, hopefully you got that quite easily and you saw that this and this are 7 and 4 making up all the way from the left to the right. You have to go 7 plus 4. So this piece here also has to be the same length. So it's 7 plus 4, which is 11 meters. And so, what is our perimeter? Well, let's start over here and just go walking. We'll do 11 plus 2 plus 4 plus 10 plus 7 plus 12. And if we add all those up, well, we're going to get 10, 20, 33, 35, 39, 46 meters as our answer. All right, what about the area? Well, to figure out the area, I actually just need to do a little bit of chopping up of the shape because I can work out areas of rectangles very easily. So if I just chop up the shape into two rectangles, I can do that quite nicely. Okay, let me get rid of these things that I've drawn around the side so we can see this more easily. Okay, so let me chop up my shape now. In many ways I could do this, but if I just literally continue that line there, then what you see is I've got this rectangle here and I've got this rectangle over here. And so I can work out those rectangles. That little red rectangle has a length of 11 and a breadth of 2. And then if I have a look at my blue rectangle, it's got a length of 2 and a breadth of length of 2 a length of 10 this side here and a breadth of 7 so its area is 10 times 7 and that gives me 70 plus 22 which is 92 meters squared